Hi guys and welcome back. This is going to be a really quick video. Um, I don't usually do unboxings but I'm going to do an unboxing because this is going to take three videos. So I'm going to do the unboxing of what's in the box. If you follow me on Twitter you'll know what it is. Um, and then the next video will be set up and the technology and how it works, how to get the best out of it. And the third one will hopefully be me actually playing it. So, what's in the big box? Right. I waited in all day today. It was really dull. But it's finally arrived. And hopefully, if I can't actually cut myself, it was worth the wait. Get rid of all this. There's a box inside the box. Very eco friendly. Turn that round. Don't need to know where I live. And right. It's fragile. Actually, a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Even more packaging. Wow. Really well packaged. Seriously well packaged. What the hell? This only came from down the road. It wasn't like it was shipped internationally or anything. That's quite impressive. So let's get rid of all that fat. So guys, I got an Oculus Rift. I didn't buy it. It was a very generous gift from my other half. Um, so, you know, the next time your girlfriend whinges about you buying something, just show them this video and tell them how much it costs. And, you know, you probably get away with doing whatever you like for a wee while. But, yeah, so we're just going to have a look at what you get in the box. So this is the touch bundle. Um, obviously that was the criticism of Oculus for a long time was that you got the headset, you got one sensor and then you got an Xbox controller as well. But when you compare that to things like the Vive that came out a bit later because it had the controllers it gave you like an in-game hand presence. Well, this is Oculus's answer. Um, in my opinion, because I have used these, these are vastly superior to what HTC offer. Um, but then again, there's tracking issues. There's pluses and minuses. I mean, the main plus for the Oculus at the moment is, you know, this whole set costs £500 directly from Oculus. You can get it for less. You can get it for about 460 You compare that to the cost of the Vive, which is still around £650 in the UK. And it comes in a rather sexy box. Okay guys, so we've zoomed in a bit, and this is what you get in the box. You get a really sexy box. Um, you obviously, you get the headset, which feels really light, actually. Very, very light. Looks like it comes with a reasonable length cable. The other thing I like about the Oculus is that you get the included headphones. You don't have to wear headphones, and these are actually very good by all accounts from what I've heard about reviews. It's also a bit lighter than the Vive from when I remember using the Vive. Um, you get two sensors included there and there. Now the good thing about these is you can, uh, probably not going to be able to demonstrate it, but these unscrew and they're G quarter 20 fitting, so the same as a hot shoe and a camera, so you can mount these up high which is what I will be doing when I get a third sensor for a 360 play. You get some gubbins, don't know what comes in here, probably some like crap from Oculus. Yes it is. All right, okay, it's batteries and a remote control. That's cool. Look at that later. Then you get these. These are the little controller units for in-hand presence and I can tell you they feel absolutely amazing in your hands. I've used these, I've demoed them. These are great. Um, this is all capacitive, so no matter where your hands are, the Oculus knows where your fingers are in volumetric space. 
so much better than what HTC offer at the moment. But again, they'll catch up. And that's it guys, that's pretty much everything you get in the box. Um, so all I need to do now is set all this stuff up and start using it, start testing it, and then I'll give you a video on how this actually uses the sensors to measure where you are in volumetric space and then the best setup for you, whether it's in 180 or normal play, which will Oculus call it, or 270 degrees, which is a slightly kind of extended range you can do with two sensors, or the full 360, which you need a third sensor for, which I will be buying very shortly, I imagine, as soon as I can find one for less than £130 is what they're going for on eBay at the moment, which is ridiculous. So anyway guys, that's it. That's the unboxing of the Oculus Rift. Um, it's great, and I'll see you later. Bye.